Okay, my friends, in this video, we're going to be completing uh, question five, part B. Okay, um, here it states um, that in part B, let's just pull this up a bit so we can have a little bit more space to work with. I think that should be fine. Here it states, a point M on the playground is located 300 meters from R, okay, on a bearing of 120 degrees. On the same answer sheet, okay, they're asking us now in part one to calculate in centimeters the length of rm that should be used in the scale drawing and that's an easy two marks okay now as we had established in the previous video that based on the scale to every one centimeter we have a 30 okay but if you note a 30 meters rather but if you notice now okay what they're what they're saying is that the actual distance on the playground okay is is 30 meters and we have it here let me just change the color quickly here they gave it to us is 300 rather my bad 300 meters now from r okay now they want us to calculate in centimeters now earlier um, when we were converting from centimeters to the actual distance we had multiplied okay so for part one if we're if we are converting let me just change the color if we are converting from actual distance to the map map distance now my friends we would have to do the opposite of multiplication which is to divide by the 30 meters all right so therefore r to m r m r m is equal to the 300 okay that's the meters we're working with 300 meters and that is divided okay my friends by the 30 okay which is the 30 meters there so basically what we're saying a zero will cancel out with a zero there and three into itself goes once okay three into 30 goes 10 times okay so our map distance will work out to be 10 centimeters okay my friends pretty much so that's our answer for part one now in part two they are asking us using a ruler and a pair of compasses draw the line segment rm on the scaling on the scale map on the scale drawing rather and that's a four mark so we're going to construct that now my friends now basically remember as i've stated in the previous video in part a that when working with a bearing um the north line is the reference line because a bearing um is measured from the north going in a clockwise direction okay my friends so anytime working with bearings you'd start from the north line and then you'd move in a clockwise direction okay so basically what is happening here we're going to have to just simply grab our compasses our pair of compasses now so here we go so what i'm going to do my friends i am going to simply let's just open this up a bit okay so i am going to have to place the point of my compass okay place the point of my compass on the point R okay so there we go let's just close this up so we have a little bit more yes place it on line segment which is N there okay and we're going to simply construct a 120 degrees 20 degrees angle now if you notice this is a straight line so angles on a straight line would sum to 180 okay my friend so I need 120 out of that so basically I am just simply going to let's let's just change the color okay I am just simply going to swing my 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 uh, compass so there we have our angle there now basically um, that's a 180 degree angle now I need to move my compass and place it at the point of intersection with the arc and the north line so I'm going to place it there okay and then I'm simply going to this line segment here the arc this purple arc I'm just going to cut it once okay now remember that's a 60 degree angle based on and if you're not sure how to construct angles you could always check out our videos okay how to construct these angles we have a playlist on that all right now if you notice that's 60 so I'm going to place it at that point there and then I'm just simply going to swing another arc okay my friends and that arc would cut here now okay so pretty much uh that's 60 plus 60 that's 120 and now they're simply asking us my friends to draw a line segment through this point because this would be the 120 degrees so i'm just simply going to grab my instruments okay so basically um you'd use your ruler i have some neat tools working with so i'm i'm i 
I can draw my line there from the center R and going through the point of intersection straight down here. Okay, my friends. So pretty much, um, remember, you can use your ruler to do that. Okay, so this here now would be my RM. And remember, RM worked out to be 10 centimeters. So this line segment should be 10 centimeters. Okay, so I'm just simply going to take my rule and I'm going to measure off 10 centimeters, my friends. So if you notice, my friends, I'm just simply going to extend this a little bit. If you notice where I place my zero, my zero is on the point R. And I'm just going to simply extend this line to 10 centimeters. OK, that's pretty much. So it's pretty much that easy, guys, um, for part three now. For part three here, if you know, they're asking us to mark and name the angle in the scale drawing that measures 120 degrees. OK, so obviously this angle here, guys, uh, let's just mark it uh, quickly. I am going to just uh, let's change the color. Just give me a sec. I'm just going to use this yellow line and mark that it is this angle that I'm speaking about. OK, all of this angle here, this 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 stopping on this line here this angle here okay all of this angle here is really 120 degrees is 120 degrees okay but you would write it in here okay remember the angle starts from the north line and it ends right there okay that this is the angle all of this angle measures 120 degrees okay so please write it in it's just because my diagram is a little bit um small it can't hold okay but please put it in here okay right there thanks much all right see you in the next video uh we will be looking at uh some more interesting stuff hope that you find this useful bye bye <laughs>